That plan at the World Bank provides access to the more than 3,000 indicators available through the World Bank's Open Data Initiative. The aim of the application is to facilitate the exploration, analysis and interpretation of these indicators by providing an intuitive interface for accessing the data as well as for presenting the data in a format that suits your needs. So to illustrate this, let's have a look at several of the key indicators for the Millennium Development Goals or MDGs. MDG number four is to reduce the child mortality rate and the key indicator for this, under five mortality rate, is currently displayed on the map. Here's the indicator name currently displayed and if you move the mouse over the indicator name it will display the description and the source organization. So under five mortality rate is the probability per 1000 that a newborn baby will die before reaching age five. The currently selected year is shown on the bottom, it's 2009, so you can move to various years by dragging that. And in the bottom left corner of the screen is the map legend. So you can see the different value ranges and highlight them. So in this case, darker shades of blue uh, indicate countries where child mortality is higher. You can change the map colors by clicking on one of the colors and changing it to something else. Let's uh, stick with blue for the moment. And you can also change the map legend values. So for example, if you want to see which countries have a child mortality rate uh, above 180 uh, per 1000, you just change it to 180 and you can directly see those countries illustrated Let's have a closer look and uh, let's look at Sub-Saharan Africa in more detail. So there's a region menu in the top right hand corner which enables you to select any of the various regions. Um, you can see in right now they're being highlighted in the bar chart as well as uh, on the map. Well, let's select Sub-Saharan Africa. And now in this close-up view you can see the uh, country names and the data values and selecting a country has become easier. So let's compare Malawi. You can see Malawi highlighted now in the bar chart and Mozambique. I'm going to select both of these to maintain the highlighting in the bar chart and now I'll sort the bar chart alphabetically. So there's a sort option over here alphabetically and now it will be interesting to see the trend over time so to see how child mortality has changed since 1980. So there's a play button to play the uh, years from the beginning as an animation and here you can see the result and you can clearly see that countries have been getting lighter and uh, bar charts have been shrinking. Let me just play that one more time. Now it might be easier to see trends over time for individual countries through a time series graph. So let's pick another indicator for that through the uh, indicator selection menu. So if I click on the indicator, a menu opens and I can select from thousands of indicators. Um, so there's uh, sub-menus, sub-sub-menus and sub-sub-sub-menus. And this uh, allows for the organization of thousands of indicators. So I'm going to be looking for an indicator for MDG1, which relates to poverty and hunger. And one of the targets for MDG1 is to halve the po proportion of people living on less than a uh, dollar a day. And we can find this on the category poverty. Here you see a uh, poverty headcount ratio at dollar uh, 1.25 a day. That's the, the new measure for this target. And it will load immediately. I'm just going to zoom out. So normally it would have to load it from the World Bank, but I've uh, preloaded this for the demo. And as you can see, there's not much data available for the currently selected year, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to be looking at individual countries uh, to see uh, changes over time. So first for uh, I have to change the type of graph. So here's the uh, time series graph icon 
and now I can select any country on the map just by moving the mouse uh, over the country. This is Brazil and you can see here um, this um, time series graph showing a decline in poverty since 1981 and let's have a look at one of the neighbors you can see a very different kind of trend this is Colombia you can see a decline in poverty followed by uh, an increase in uh, in poverty that is um, uh, persons living on uh, less than 1.25 dollars a day as a percentage of the population and then it kind of stabilizes at the end and here is another neighboring country Venezuela and here you can see a very sharp increase in poverty uh, in the 1990s and then a decline again in recent years so now let's compare these three together by clicking on them and now all three are displayed you can move the mouse over the countries just to see those values again and here in the top right corner you can also s easily select um, countries in alphabetical order so let's have a look at one last graph that is the uh, scatter plot graph so this is one I had prepared earlier um, this one relates to MDG number two achieve universal primary education so if that Planet World Bank enables you to compare uh, any of the thousands of available indicators with each other and sometimes some interesting trends can be found so in this case we have here on the y-axis GDP per capita so uh, essentially uh, income per person and in the x-axis you see SACMEC mean performance on the reading scale um, that is uh, grade 6 pupils performance on a uh, reading test so if you look at just a subset of the countries um, these countries would seem to have a trend where um, the higher the GDP per capita at purchasing power parity the higher the scores on the reading test. So you can see Botswana and Mauritius here um, with high GDP per capita as, as well as high scores in the reading test and the opposite um, is the case for Malawi, uh, Zambia, Lesotho so this kind of uh, follows uh, an expected trend but what's perhaps more interesting is some of the outliers here in particular Kenya and Tanzania which have relatively low GDP per capita compared to uh, the other countries in this particular region and relatively high reading scores so this is just one uh, simple example of uh, the many possible comparisons that can be made with the World Bank indicator data set and of course drawing conclusions from the data would require a, a bit more analysis so this was the web version there is also a desktop application version for those who wish to explore the indicators offline um, for uses in, in places where there is no internet connectivity and the offline version contains a set of downloaded indicators from various sources not just the World Bank and uh, these are all indicators relating to the Millennium Development Goals uh, so these indicators have also been organized by Millennium, Millennium Development Goal this database uh, may be edited so anyone can contribute new indicators change the data modify it for their own purposes and included is a data editor for automatically importing data from various sources you can download StatPlanet World Bank through www.statplanet.org and here you can also find the web version and that is all for this demo which covered some of the main options of StatPlanet World Bank I hope you will find the application useful for your needs and thank you very much for listening